Hey everybody. Welcome back to Dead Rising. Hope you don't mind, but uh, I'm taking a break. We're waiting on a call from Carlito to let the last resorts thing begin. And uh, for now, I'm just shooting zombies from the roof. There's one interesting thing about this, though, that these zombies out here are actually part of... Oh, hey, there we go. Well, since the last resort was in green, I'm assuming it's important, so... Let's go head back to the security room and see what's the haps. Yes, I just said, what's the haps? Take that, 1930s. Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We've got a regular suicide bomber on our hands. It's them what you're thinking. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere! <sighs> He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off! If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low, there's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. Well, at least Brad's pumped about it. Anyways, that ends the beginning of case 7-1. We're now engaged in 7-2, and it gives you a chance to save there, but I did cut it out because, I don't know, it's stupid. And um, we are now off to begin the Bomb Collector scoop. Uh, you have a very short period here to actually deal with this scoop, so we will begin. But of course, first a call from Otis. Hey, you're not Otis. So Isabella lets us know that the time bombs can be found from the maintenance tunnel, and the maintenance tunnel is actually connected to the- Oh, Jesus, goddammit, zombie! I was on the phone with a pretty lady. Screw this all up. Anyway, the uh, maintenance tunnels are connected to the park. Oh, I probably shouldn't answer that. That was a weird transition. Oh, God. He's looking right at me. Maybe he's like a T-Rex. If I don't move, he can't see me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! Ha ha ha, I win. Anyway, with that, uh, well, you can't see the air quotes, but trust me, I'm doing air quotes around this word. Subtle transition. We are now through the park and headed off to the maintenance tunnel. Lord knows, I know we all don't want to watch me run through Paradise Plaza again. Only thing of interest that happened was I did pick up a couple OJs, because they're delicious and nutritious. And they are part of any good breakfast. And if your mom doesn't give you OJ, I mean she doesn't love you. So, for this next section, you have two vehicles. The one you want to choose is actually the motorcycle, and you'll see why here in a split second. As we enter the real part of the maintenance tunnel. This would be why. If you pick the car, you can't get through here. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks to be you. So Isabel is trying to talk to us over the loudspeaker while Otis gives us a phone call, which, by the way, they're pretty close to each other. That's not a good idea, guys. Should really work this out a little bit better. And we're already at the first truck. A good suggestion is to use whatever vehicle you have and try to beat the crap out of whatever zombies are close to the truck because Lord knows it's going to be really bad trying to clear it. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it very clear. And in case you're wondering what she's saying in the background, since I am sort of talking at it, over it, it's mostly just, Oh, hey, Frank, find the bombs. You have to hurry over and over. So there. Now you know. 
Over here is a delivery truck, which is a lot more resilient than our current vehicle. And you can see the path here through the maintenance tunnels. Now where we're actually going is to the upper section, and I will start headed over there soon. Now I apologize as I go through this, um, there's going to be quite a few spots where I pull up that map just because I don't want to get lost, so get ready. Also get ready for a lot of driving over zombies. That truck back there was Carlito, so it's pretty likely he's going to end up catching us up to us here soon. Alright, cool. Make a left here. Make a left at Albuquerque. I wish you could blow the horn as you go through here. Just be like, ha ha. Alright. Zombies die. Oh, shit. There's Carlito. So, when Carlito comes up, he is actually going to throw bombs at you. There's two very surefire ways to deal with them. The first one is to use the small chainsaw and just make him get the hell out of here. And he'll run away like a coward. The second possibility is you could always just use a shotgun, and it does pretty much the exact same thing. Two time bombs, three to go. And like I said, these trucks are really resilient, so it's always nice to try to use these. Unfortunately, as he said before, she, or they said before, uh, Carlito actually slashed the tires of those other trucks, so you're going to be not, oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. You're going to be unable to use those other trucks. This does limit you to only a couple vehicles. Speaking of couple of vehicles, we're headed over here to this little square section in the back, next to the guy doing the running man. Hey, Carlito. Hope you don't mind if I move you. And in that back section, there is another vehicle. This little white car here. Eh, close enough. Stopping with a wall is just as effective. Ooh, looks like Carlito's on his way. Wow. I'm really glad that that, did, that didn't turn into a Carlito's way joke. And now that we have the, the white car, my brain is saying yellow. It wants it to be yellow. We can head down here to the next bomb point. Cars, cars and physics don't work like that. FYI. Cool. Here's the next bomb. If the car will let me out. Go away. All of you. Oh, shoot. Eat this! Alright, well, guess he's out of here. Yeah, thanks, Isabella. I get it. I also do like that he took the time to put him in these nice refrigerated trucks. I guess that's... I don't know why you... That doesn't make sense. Whatever. Ooh, a queen. You can hear it. You can hear it buzzing or squeaking. Pretty certain wasps don't squeak. Anyhow, we're off to the fourth bomb. The fourth bomb is over here on the left, and this part can be a little tricky because there's this sort of roundabout thing here. And yes, we are on the path. There's our next truck. And Carlito's back for more. Thankfully, I'm pretty so Oh, you bitch, I was trying to walk through here. Well, that's one way to kill a zombie. All right, so we'll take out Carlito here. I think that might kill him. Oh, yeah, it did. Sweet. 